State Farm Stadium. This is undisputed, home of Super Bowl 57 on Fox. Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, I'm Jen Hale, and we have the best studio audience possible. <laughs> Mr. Sharp, you're very fortunate that my Dallas Cowboys are not playing in this game. <laughs> but guess what? This crowd is full of Cowboy fans. Yeah! There's an Eagles fan sitting in the front row right behind you named Chris McGregor. Welcome to the show. And, and he has taken the challenge from yesterday when I called that crowd the all-time greatest we've ever had in a road show. And Chris McGregor says this crowd is going to top yesterday's crowd. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, Cowboy fans, you knew you weren't going to be here. <laughs> Why did y'all book a ticket in February to come to Arizona? They knew they weren't going to make it. Let's go, Let's do it. It's the beat of the morning. Great scene. The countdown is on. Super Bowl 57, only two days away. Shannon, last time to make your predictions. Who wins this one? Man, I've been going back and forth with this one, but I'm going I'm to I'm ride with the Chiefs. I think they're going to win a close game. <laughs> I know, I know everybody thinks the Eagles are going to just run through the Kansas City Chiefs, but I no, think... Well, who says that? Because you've been saying that. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. So, wait, I said public opinion, no, I just swayed... No, public. because I, I, don't I think, think I the thing is with you is that you think Jalen Hurts should have won the MVP. I do. You think he's... And by the, the way, congrats to your guy, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Way to go. I, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not shocked. I, I got yeah. it. I, and I think, I think the thing is with that, because you think he played... Uh, he should have won the MVP... He's played the best quarterback. You think he's played quarterback better than Patrick Mahomes. And if you look at their team, I think they have a better roster. But I think the top players are the better on Kansas City. But the better team, the thing that concerns me is Kansas City back in because they've given up a lot of passing touchdowns. But the question is, how healthy is Jalen Hurts' arm? Is he 75%? Is he 80%? The shoulder, yeah. The shoulder, yeah. the shoulder. Mm -hmm. With that being said, Skip, they, you look at their records. Six, both are 16-3. and three. Both scored 546 points. That, that's like, <laughs> like ridiculously coincidental. They're, they're exactly the same in points scored? Points scored, record, both had six all pros. Yep. Both teams, neither of them trailed at any point in time during the postseason. Nope. That's the first time to, since 2004, the Patriots and the yep. Eagles again. I'm going to take Patrick Mahomes to win his second Super Bowl in five years of starting. His third Super Bowl appearance in four years, Skip. I like this team. Patrick Mahomes, the ankle, has forced him to throw the ball from the pocket, but it's also forced him to get the ball out of his hand quick so he doesn't take unnecessary hits. And I like what I've seen over the last two postseason games. I think they won a close ball game. Buckner kicks a walk-off, 34-31, Kansas City wins. Higher score. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So you got the over-under going over. Go over, over, way, way over, 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 over. Okay, I don't hate anything you just said. I don't vehemently disagree with anything you just said. I told you from the start, the first day I saw the point spread on this game, Philly by a point and a half, and it stayed right there for right. two straight weeks. Right. Philly by a point and a half. Right. I said, I don't get it. I would think Mahomes is regarded in, in, in such Star Wars comparison to Jalen Hurts, which is why he ran away with the MVP. Yeah. I don't even think the voting was even close because Jalen got hurt. Right. But because you got Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, the two best offensive players on the field on Sunday. And because the stable of running backs on Kansas City side is a little better than the stable on Philly side. I don't you care. Think so? Well, with Edward Solari, he's going to play. So right. all of a sudden, I, I'm looking. Pacheco runs his tail off right. every time I see him. And you love McKinnon I do. as I a do. guy who can catch it yeah. and run with it, yes. right? Yes. So I think those three are a little better than the two for the, the Eagles. Okay. And then the best defensive player on the field belongs to your Kansas City Chiefs, yeah, Chris right? Jones, Chris yeah. Jones. So I'm saying, wait a second, that would that should add up to Kansas City favored by, I don't know, four or five points. Then I look at USA Today today, and they got their six expert picks, and five out of six picked your Kansas City Chiefs. Really? Yes, they did. I'm surprised. And four out of those five picked Mahomes to be MVP, and Jarek McKinnon was the other guy's MVP. Okay. Okay? So, given all that, 
I, I give you all those edges until I get to my quarterback. I believe in Jalen Hurts. I have since the start. I, I believe in his character. I believe in his guts. I believe in his heart. I believe in his leadership. I believe in his playmaking. I believe he will make a few more plays than Patrick Mahomes. I, I believe that the biggest reason the Eagles win this game will be Jalen Hurts. And I believe it will also be close and higher scoring, though not quite to your level. Okay. I'm going 30-27 Philadelphia. Right. And okay. by the way, I'm a Cowboy fan. I hate the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. But I love me some Jalen Hurts. And I believe in him on this biggest stage, even though he's never played on this stage. But he was St. Nick's quarterback. Right. And he was at the University of Oklahoma, the team I grew up yeah. loving. So he's played in a whole bunch yeah. of big national championship yes. type games. Yes. So I, I don't doubt his ability to rise to this occasion. But in the end, it's got to be Jalen Hurts because I don't trust the Eagles defense. I told you that from day one. And what stuck in my craw is my Cowboys scored 40 points on Christmas Eve against this Eagles defense. And I don't get it because they have played very well in the playoffs, though you can question the competition. I don't know that the Giants were a bunch of world beaters. I think they were upstarts. I, I think they played over their, their helmets a little bit. Yeah. And, and so it didn't shock me that the Eagles just handled them easily. Right. And then we know that Brock Purdy went Got down it. on the first series. Yes. And Brandon Ayuk said, the Eagles defense is going to get exposed in this game because we would have exposed them if our quarterback had been healthy for the whole game. Right. All right. So 40 points is 40 points. And I know it was Gardner Minshew and he handed him four Fourth early yep. Christmas presents. Yep. But still to go for 40, it was 40 to 34 Cowboys over Eagles Christmas mm -hmm. Eve at Dallas. It's so many points that I say, if you let Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey have the ball, they are going to score points. Right. So the only way to win this game is for Jalen Hurts to win the ultimate game of keep away. And he is highly capable of keeping the ball away from Patrick Mahomes. The score of this game to me is going to be time of possession. That's going to be the real number. And it has to be 35 to 25 Jalen over right. Patrick. 35 minutes to 25 minutes because Jalen will control the football the way he controls the game. Nobody runs the read option better than Jalen Hurts. Right. He's a magician. And right. I don't think he gets enough credit for his ball handling and his savvy and his decision making on the fly. Right. Because he will, like the over-under for his yards rushing is 49.5. Right. Trust me, he's going to go way over that. Well, if I'm going to prop bet something, I'm going to bet that one. Well, I think he's going to need to go he over that to. because I don't think the arm is where it's going to be at. Yeah. Look, Kansas City defense, and Kansas City gets a lot of credit for their rush defense because everybody's throwing the football. Nobody really tries to run. But that's not the, what the Eagles are. The Eagles are a run-first team that Jalen Hurst can throw the football because yeah. he gets a lot of single coverage because they have to drop the safety down to stop the run. Okay. But the thing that I like the most, Andy Reid having an extra week. We know how good he is he, in the bye week, coming out of the bye week. Like a so maestro. I'm yeah. counting on that. Yep. This time around, with a healthier offensive line, not to get the pressure that Tampa put on them in Tampa two years ago, I just think Mahomes is going to do something that hadn't been done since 99, okay. where the MVP wins the Super Bowl. Tony right. Warner was the last guy to do it. Okay. He has to have the football to pull that off. Yes. If he has the football, he will pull that off. Because I got to tell you, you, you played tight end at the highest level. You're in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. I've never seen anything like the connection between Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. It, it, and we're going to talk more about it in a few minutes here about the why of it. Yeah. But they are unguardable and unstoppable. Right. And the, the, uh, speaking of over-under, I'm not a big prop better, but I looked at this. Travis Kelsey's over-under for yards receiving is 79.5. I promise you he's going to go over that because that's who they are. That's what they do. I mean, how many buck 22s did you have in your career, right? right? Come on. Well, that's what he's looking at. You're looking at a buck 25-ish. Well, yeah, him. because I think the thing is, Skip, he's going to get a lot of targets. I think, you know. How do they defend him? Are they going to try to uh, use two, a linebacker and a safety? Do they feel comfortable with Gar uh, uh, Gardner Johnson going one-on-one -on -one with him? I don't think that's the, the right no. way to match him up. Do you slide Darius Slate or Bradbury? You might do that. Because are, are, are you? I, I've seen every possible. Di nobody can stop. I see three on him, and they can't stop him. Well, if, if, I, if I'm the Eagles, I'm probably going to take Bradbury, who's probably the more physical of the yeah, two corners. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I'm probably going to slide him yeah. because I'm not going to trust the safety. I'm not going to trust yeah. the linebacker on Travis Kelsey. I think he's going to probably. What's the over under on targets? At least ten. Okay, I, I got it. But don't forget, 
Patrick Mahomes' offensive line this year led the whole league in pass block win rate. That means Patrick was protected better than any other quarterback. Right. So I get Hassan Reddick. He took over those games before this one. I'm just not sure he'll be capable against this offensive line of taking the game over. So however long Patrick has the ball, he's going to do some damage. Well, they need to win pass, pass uh, block win rate on Sunday. Yeah. That's what's going to be most important. But the question is, Skip, look, they, they're, they're loaded up in line, that defensive line. Yeah, we could talk about Reddick, but you still got Fletcher Cox, you got Hargrove, you got Brandon Graham, who subs in and out, you got Sweat. They have a, they have a six-man rotation that can generate a lot of pressure on Patrick Mahomes. I don't believe Patrick Mahomes need the ball because they have their offense is a lot different. They're methodical now, Skip. They don't have this, the quick strike capabilities like they had when they had Tyreek. They can hit you with the big play in 10 seconds, and they got a touchdown. They're going to be more methodical. They're more 9, 10, 11 play drive guys now. So they might have the ball. They might need to possess the ball to keep Jalen Hurts off the field okay. so his offense All don't right. get – but you got to keep – Skip, you're going to have to get off the field on third down because when it's third and short, fourth and short, the Eagles are going for it. They have no, they have no hesitancy. They're going to line up in that formation, put two guys behind Jalen Hurts, and do the old rugby scrum and push him forward for the first down. So you got to get them off the field on third down if you have any chance of winning okay. this ball game. And I agree. That's why I favor Jalen Hurts because I love him on third down, and they need to go like nine or ten out of fifteen on third well, down. Well, if they go nine or ten, nine okay. or ten on third down, they're yeah. going to win this game going and, away. And you know how he does it? He does it read option. He does it keeping. He does it scrambling. He does it flipping to A.J., flipping to Devontae, flipping to Dallas Goddard. He is lethal on third down as a playmaker. My Cowboys, the game at Philadelphia. It's Cooper Rush, my backup quarterback, who played very well after a rocky start. He scored 17 unanswered. And all of a sudden, it's 2017 early in the fourth quarter. And Jalen gets the ball back, and it goes third and five, third and four, third and five. And he converts all three of them, and we lose because of Jalen Hurts. That's how I see this game unfolding that it's going to come down to Jay. No, no game I can remember in recent Super Bowls. Maybe I've been to like 40 of them. I, I, I don't remember one boiling down to the two quarterbacks like this. Like, who's going to have the better game? Right. Well, what have we seen with, with Heisman Trophy winners? They win and then they lose their bowl game because the other team's so inspired to, to put them back in their place. The target gets a little bigger and bigger on their back. Right. Well, now the quarterback on the opposing team I think should have been the MVP. Again, re remember this. Philly came into this season with the 13th best Super Bowl odds. So right. they were 13th. Kansas City came into the season with the third best Super Bowl odds. So look at degree of difficulty for MVP. Well, well obviously, it was way harder for Jalen to have the year he had coming from 13th best odds than Patrick from third best odds. Let me odds. tell you why I disagree, because I think the NFC was down this year. You look at the quarterback playing okay. the AFC, it, it's you a look fair at the team point. in the AFC, okay. there's a lot. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Okay, but, but Jalen hadn't done this before. They, right. they, they went to Brady last year in that one playoff game, right. and they got blown out. And yet here they came, and they're, they're rising, and they're taking another step and another yeah. step and another step. And all of a sudden, they are a slight favorite to win the Super Bowl. Right. And I keep saying, why? Well, it's because of Jalen. It's because the odds makers saying Jalen Hurts is legit. That's what right. they're saying, too. But I think the thing is, Skip, you along with others have started to question, has Patrick Mahomes lost his his leg up on the supremacy at the quarterback position in the to, AFC. To, to Joe Burrow. To Joe Burrow. Not, not to Jalen yet. Well, right. What about Josh Allen? Okay. What, well, so we saw all we saw Josh Allen dueling last year. We yep. saw Joe Burrow okay. had beaten him once in the regular season, goes to his building and the AFC championship games and beat him again. So the questions had started to swirl. Is Patrick Mahomes still the top dog in the AFC? Okay. Right. He answered all those questions this year, not only by getting all back right. to the Super Bowl, but by winning I, the MVP. I got it. But... Has he answered questions in Super Bowls? You don't like to hear this, but I'm going to bring it up yeah. because I do try to tell the truth, and this is the truth I see about Patrick Mahomes in Super Bowls. He's played two of them, right? right? He's thrown two touchdown passes in those two Super Bowls right. to four interceptions. Think about that. Patrick Mahomes in two Super Bowls, two touchdowns to four interceptions. Yes. Not exactly Brady-esque, no. right? Right. Okay? He hasn't been Patrick Mahomes in the two Super Bowls because I'm going to remind you again. First Super Bowl against San Francisco and Jimmy Garoppolo. They're down 20 to 10 late in the third quarter. I think we have the video of this. 20 to 10 late in the third quarter, and he threw an ill-advised interception that I thought was going to lose the game. Here it is. I can't really see this. Okay, there we go. 
And here it is again. Bad idea tipped up to an interception. Then we go to the fourth quarter. They're still behind by 10, 20 to 10, early fourth quarter. And he does it again. He throws late and behind Tyreek. A little too much mustard on it. Yeah. And the ball gets tipped up into an interception. I don't know what we're showing here now. That's the oh, oh, the, oh, now we're doing the, the ones. Tampa. Okay, I got it. Th this is the next Super Bowl where he's throwing two more interceptions. They got routed. And really, in that game, he just played poorly by MVP. Now he's a two-time MVP yeah. against Brady in that Super Bowl, albeit at, on Brady's home field, obviously. He, he just he, he wasn't very good. So he had a QBR of 52. For, for those who don't know, it's a scale of 0 to 100. It was just an average game by yeah. his standards. In the, the Garoppolo game, he had a QBR of 64. Remember, his career QBR that you keep bringing up to me in regular season games over five years of starting is 77. So from 77 down to 64 in his first one, down to 52 against Brady, he hasn't been very good no. in the Super Bowl no. games. So is he due to have a great Super Bowl? You could make the case. But I'll even remind you of that big game, the first one against Burrow a year ago. Not this one, but the one before. Late in the game, they're in command of the game. And I think we have this. He throws a, a big interception that reopens the door for Burrow to run through it. This is when Burrow went up. Oh, yeah. He's on his way to. This is the third yeah, quarter that, here. That's, that's just, it was a bad idea. Yeah. He gets careless with the football. And then he, he, here he is again. This is in overtime. overtime. They win the coin toss. He goes incomplete, near pick six. And then on third and 10 from his 25, he tries again and forces the ball up to Jesse Bates, tips into the air. And Von Bell picks it off. And here comes Joe Burrow, and they win the game. Right. So he's, the, he's had some big games when he's played really little in those right. big games by his MVP standards. So I'm saying, is he due for a huge game? I haven't seen him have a huge game in a big game like, like you sort of promote him to be. What about Buffalo last year? Okay, was that, that was, a big... it was a shootout. It was a good one. I'm not a big Josh Allen. I don't, I don't buy Josh Allen yeah. completely. But they went back and forth, back right. and forth. And yet... Who was his dance partner in the first Super Bowl in the fourth quarter? Well, the rival quarterback was Jimmy G, and I call him Jimmy Gag. And right. he gagged in that one or, or because he, he, they, they were in big trouble. And, and Jimmy Gag in the fourth quarter goes 3 of 11 yeah. for 36 yards, and he throws a pick. Well, if, if he doesn't do that, Patrick doesn't win his first Super Bowl. Well, let me Bowl. ask you a question. How many times have we said that game was right there for the taking? And they didn't step through the door. Yep. So the game can be there. We yep. saw, we see that all the time with your quarterback. I the game it. is right there for the taking, <laughs> and he don't walk, and he don't walk through the door. <laughs> By the way, congratulations to my quarterback Dak Prescott for winning the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year last year. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Very well deserved. It, it was very well deserved, but I cannot defend him on the football field because he did not play up to his the, right. the standards that I had set mm -hmm. for him. Certainly at San Francisco, or all these Cowboy fans would be here for a reason, because we'd be in this game. Right? <laughs> what, what about the Washington game? As a matter of fact, I had a good <laughs> <laughs> What Washington game? <laughs> I did have a great conversation yesterday with your favorite player, Michael Parsons. Did you really? I did. Yeah? yeah. And? He said, uh... He should have won defensive player of the year. <laughs> no, that's not what he <laughs> No, he didn't say that. He was disappointed with the way the season ended. Okay. Yeah. Again, I pushed him all year. My oh, Mike, I love him from heaven for defensive player of the year. But I can't hate on Nick Bosa yeah. because he, he just he right. pulled away and he, he ran away right. with yeah. it, right? Yes. Next year for Micah Parsons. Well, he might win the defensive player of the year, but y'all not going nowhere. Well, why not? not be, I mean, y'all can go to Vegas to gamble, but y'all yeah. not going to the Super Bowl. We're going to trade Dak Prescott for Aaron Rodgers, oh, and we're going to go places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You heard it here last, right? You heard it here last. That's an oxymoron. Cowboy Super Bowl, Cowboy Super Bowl. They don't go together. You know, once upon a time, yeah. they were intertwined. That's how they start it's fairy how we tales. We got five of those. In That's how they start fairy tales. Really? Once upon a time, yeah. in a land far, far away, the old cowboys. Uh, were we not a dynasty in the 90s? Were we not a dynasty in the 60s and 70s? Yes and yes. Yeah. I know it was before you were born, right? <laughs> yes. I know yeah. a lot of dynasties. Yeah. The Joe dynasty, the Tang, the yeah. Grimaldi. Yeah. But what about the Cowboys in 28 years? Yeah. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a bit of a 
drought. It yeah. has yes. been indeed. All right, so you're each going with three points, just yes. Chiefs and yeah. Eagles. Yes, my three. I like the time of possession comment. I'm going to be watching that turnover takeaway ratio. Yeah, that's, that's going to be tell really tell. important to me. All right, we have a ton more undisputed to get to this morning with our fantastic live studio audience. What's the secret to Travis Kelsey always getting open? <laughs> Skip and Shannon reveal it. Yeah. That is off Super Bowl Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.